So we um, haven't had water for uh, over a day. Um, so, but we've got lots and lots of snow. So we've just been trying to get through the ice to save some snow. And we can boil that and use it for our toilets and whatever else we have. So right now in Texas, we thankfully are back to having electricity after not having it for several days, but we're still without water. It's snowing and below freezing again. Oh, there is just uncopious amounts of stuff. We can't flush our toilets uh, because we obviously don't have water. So we're lucky we have a broken pool. So we take our Texas sized pitcher up to the pool. And then pour it into the back of the tank. When we didn't have electricity, we um, luckily have a fireplace, which also is um, not super common in Texas. Um, but because of that, there is a shortage of firewood. So we have just been trying to be real conscious of not using it um, when we didn't have to. We have friends that have slept in tents in their living rooms to try to sort of contain the heat. And now certainly without water, thankfully we have an abundance of snow. So we have been able to boil that. We have a propane stove. So we were able to light that with matches and be able to heat food that way. But just huddling up, keeping warm, playing lots of games and every hour checking um, our pipes and making sure that they're wrapped. So it's hard when you see Ted Cruz on a plane to Mexico on Tuesday when the state of Texas is in an emergency and he's flying to Cancun. And meanwhile, the people of his city are freezing and losing hope. And there's just, it, they're tone deaf to what's going on. And it would be nice to have a more empathetic um, leadership for the state of Texas, for sure. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.